on today's Technobabble, working with communication systems. This is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now, here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Tech No Babble. This is the show where every week I help you with uh, church video and graphic design. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So the previous few weeks we've been talking about live production equipment and the philosophies behind it, and I thought that we would talk a little bit about comms. Now they're communication systems. A lot of churches try and get by with you know hand signals or two-way radios, and really that's a big mistake. I've done both, so I understand, but really what you want to aim for are communication systems called comms, C-O-M-M-S, from companies like Telex or, in our case, Clearcom. So let's uh, take a look at the unit. This is one of the possible headsets that you can use. You can see that it's very lightweight. We also have a much larger headset, and there are a few other flavors. I'll leave a link in the show notes to um, uh, a review I did for a point source audio headset that I personally use when I'm running that station over there. So heading over to the base station of the comm system, basically this looks very complex but like a lot of things it's just redundant systems so I have the ability to well first off this is a panel mic I can turn the mic on turn the mic off and talk directly into that mic there's also um, we could replace that with a gooseneck mic that would come out farther should I want to use it right below that that's where this headset plugs in and uh, I can choose between the mic on the control panel or the mic on the headset. Right now we're set to the headset. Um, I can press the all talk button and talk to all four channels. We've got one channel dedicated to our musicians, one channel uh, dedicated to video itself, and another channel that the producers use to talk amongst themselves. So we don't have to hear a lot of crosstalk. Having a multi-channel system is really a nice thing to have. So you'll see here too that I can listen to all four or any combination. So right now it's B and C. So C is the video channel and B is the producer's channel. If I just wanted to listen to the video channel, I could do that. If I wanted to listen to none, I could do that. If I wanted to listen to the producer, if I wanted to listen to music, I could. So uh, our music team, not just music. So that's all pretty cool. The talk, it's a two position button, so I can either tap it, and you'll know, notice that it turns yellow. That's a temporary on situation, or I can kind of double tap it and leave it on. So that's nice as well. Now below this, we have listen level for each of these channels. So I can turn, let's say one of our producers uh, is known for being kind of loud. If she was too loud and it was hurting my ear, I don't have to turn down the whole thing using the master volume. I have individual um, volume on each channel, so I could tweak that. So that's very good as well. Um, you'll notice that we've got this program level, which you might think is the same as the master volume, but it's actually not. The, uh, the program I always get the program and the side tone can, uh, confused. We can actually pump in audio from the room if that helps. So that's a uh, 
an adjustment. I think that's actually uh, side tone. You'll notice over here I have a speaker as well. So even if, let's say that we had more people in here than we had headsets for, I could absolutely turn on the speaker and then we can hear. Sometimes I'll do that just in case I've got a short in my headset or what have you and keep it down low but just loud enough to where I hear something if the producer is trying to talk to me. So that's something also very good to uh, talk about. So that's a base station. When it comes to the other pieces of the puzzle we have these guys which are their packs that this one is a wired one they use an XLR cable so pretty straightforward and they typically have an in and an out so that you can loop them through one another and get them to work that way so again I have A, B, A, B so I can talk on different channels and call on different channels and I have volume levels for those. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. Now of course they make them wireless so a lot of times our producers will wear the wireless packs because they'll need to move from place to place. Our cameras have comms built in so as long as you're with your camera you can plug directly into the camera so that's a pretty nice feature as well now when I worked in local television we would have fewer camera operators than we had cameras so it wasn't unusual for one person to run three cameras and I did it over and over and over again not all that difficult but if I had to connect directly to the camera that would have been hard because in one moment I need to sprint between cameras and the cable wouldn't have reached that's another uh, situation where a cordless comms unit would be helpful so that's a little bit about using comms um, these are superior to two-way radios because first off the sound quality is much better and secondly they enable full duplex communication so if someone is a little on the loud side or they just won't stop talking you can interrupt them much more like regular life as opposed to a two-way radio if someone's telling a joke or something and you need to get in there you're just out of luck so that's another great reason to have a professional comm system. Well, I hope that helped you. If you like this content, by all means, head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com. Leave a comment under this video or questions, what have you. You can also, while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to my email newsletter. It's absolutely free and I give you some free stuff for doing it and let you know what's happening here at Trinity Digital Media. Well, not here, this is my church. <laughs> Back at the office uh, with Trinity Digital Media. Also, stop by and look at my store, see if there are any of those church tech training resources that um, appeal to you. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.